I have not told you this before, but my mother is the seamstress making your sister's wedding dress. You're very lucky that she's making it. She's a great seamstress and can do the old imperial stitches, even the great forbidden stitch. Her family have known these things for many generations. Suddenly, his excitement faded, and he paused, looking away from me. He started twisting the grass between his fingers. But today she will finish her work, and tomorrow we will go back home. My heart started to beat very fast, and I could not think. I wish I had said something to him then, but in that moment I had no words, just the feeling that I was suddenly part of the garden, left rooted there to watch things pass me by, like a flower gently nodding in the breeze, no longer part of this conversation. As if expecting me to say nothing, B continued speaking. I liked talking to you, and I liked sitting here with you. You're very pretty. In my town, it is traditional for the men to marry young. When my mother makes the wedding dress for my bride, I want you to be wearing it. I was lost, had nothing but silence to offer in reply. He stood up and held out his hand to me. I took it, and we stood facing each other. I had never been so close to a boy before. I looked at his eyes, the strong lines of his eyebrows, then down to his mouth, his hands, his feet. The hems of his trousers were all muddy and wet. He touched the corner of my long blouse, below the last button. I realized we were young and childish, but he held it as if he were holding me, tethering me to that spot in the grass by the river. And although he did not touch my skin, I felt that he did. Looking down, I could see his hands so close to my body, my skin. I wanted him to touch me instead of the cloth, but that would be wrong and improper. As he talked, he kept holding this tiny piece of me, and I thought it might be acceptable to take his hand. I almost reached out, wanting our fingers to be entwined in a knot that no parents could ever untie. I did not do any of these things, though. I remained still, just watching his warm eyes looking at me so tenderly. He reached up and cupped my cheeks with his hands. I let my face fall gently between them. I should have pulled away, but I could not. I felt my eyes start to fill, and carefully he used his thumbs to catch my tears. I smiled and coughed a little, and he smiled back at me. Then our lips touched. It was my first kiss. As I recall it now, so that I can tell you, I think of it as tender and loving. But the power of these two emotions were unknown to me then. The kiss was soft, lovely, and left me wanting more. It took only the briefest of moments, but it has lasted my whole life. Shanghai, storied seaport of the fabled Orient, commercial metropolis of China, and one of the world's greater seaports. In 10 years, its population doubles to a seething 7 million people, with everyone fighting for his own existence and struggling to earn the necessities of life. 